Now that your workstation is set up, it's time to turn it on and go through the final setup steps. At the end of the video, the workstation will be running Symfony and ready to take custom orders. Before we begin, make sure your workstation is connected to power and hardwired to your internet router. Also, please have your welcome letter handy, which you should have received via email. Let's get started. To begin, firmly press and release the power button on the workstation. At this point, your workstation will begin to power on. After a brief load, your workstation will be presented with a screen that will ask you to select your country, language and preferred keyboard layout. Complete those selections and continue. Next, your workstation will arrive at a screen that asks you to enter a server URL. You can find your Symfony server URL on the welcome letter. It's the Oracle Micros Symfony Home URL. Using the letter, enter your URL and select Next. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password. On your welcome letter, these credentials are the Oracle Micros Symfony Essentials Home username and password. Enter your credentials and select Next. A screen will appear showing a list of properties. If you only have one location, there'll be a single property listed here. In that scenario, simply select that property and select Next. If you have multiple locations, select the one that represents the location that you are setting up now. Once that property is selected, select Next. A screen will appear showing a list of devices assigned to the property that you chose on the last screen. If you're only setting up one workstation and no additional devices such as a kitchen display system, there should only be one entry on this list. Select the entry and select Next. If you're setting up multiple devices, you'll see multiple entries on this list. If you're working with an Oracle or third-party installer, please work with them to make sure you choose the right device from the list. If you're configuring your Symfony system yourself, you configure the device names in EMC. Select the appropriate name and select Next. At this point, your device will begin downloading and installing the software necessary to run Symfony. This process may take several minutes and your device may restart a few times, but the next time you have to touch the screen should be at the login screen of Symfony. Here we're at the Symfony login screen. Your workstation is online and ready. Repeat these steps for all other workstations or kitchen displays on site. Your Workstation 310 is now set up and ready for business.